negative 1.5. Now, this ordinate corresponds to uh, negative 0 0.5. Negative 0 0.5. Now, this one here is uh, positive 0 0.5. Positive 0 0.5. Then I'll have another ordinate here, uh, 1.5. And then another ordinate here, 2.5. Are there six strips? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So my ordinates are Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, Y5, and Y6. Now once I've been those all of them, now it's now time to determine what is the value of Y1. And how do I get the value of Y1? Just get the, the formula for the function for this curve. This is the equation for the curve. And then the x value is negative 2.5. So you just substitute the x value in the, equi in the equation. So that is what I'm going to do right away now. Yeah. So my y1 becomes, should be x squared plus 4. So this becomes negative 2.5 squared because x is negative 2.5. Then plus 4. And this gives me 6.25 plus 4 because a negative number squared is positive. So it shall be 10.25. That is my y1. So I get my y2. Y2, the value here which corresponds is negative 1.5. So I shall have negative 1.5 squared plus 4. So this will be 2.25. 1.5 squared is 2.25. Then plus 4. So my y2 will be 6.25. Thank you. Now the third one, uh, the x value, y3, is 0 0.5. So I say, so I say no, it's negative 0 0.5. It's negative 0 0.5 squared plus 4. So this becomes 0 0.25, right, squared. So no, 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 no. So 0 0.25. 0 0.5 squared is 0 0.25 plus 4. So this one comes to 4.25. 4.25. So we move on. Now we are in the fourth ordinate. So the x corresponding value of x is 0 0.5. So you shall have a positive 0 0.5 squared plus 4. And so this one becomes 0 0.25 positive 0 0.25 plus 4. And this will be 4.25. 4.25 will be our answer. So we have now our y4 ordinate. So we get the fifth ordinate, y5. The corresponding x value for y5 is 1.5. So I take 1.5, substitute it in this equation. It's the equation of the curve. So I have 1.5 squared plus 4. So this one becomes 2.25 plus 4. And this one becomes 6.25. So that is 6.25. And then we have y6. Y6, we have the corresponding value is 2.5 for X. So it's 2.5 squared plus 4. This becomes a 6.25 plus 4. This is 10.25. So now I have all now all the six ordinates, right? I have all the six ordinates. And then the width of each strip is 1. 0 to 1 is 1. 1 to 2 is 1. 2 to 3 is 1. So the width of all the strips is 1. So I'll say my area, which should be 8 into y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 plus y5 plus y6. Good. So this will be h is 1. The width is 1 into my y1 is uh, my y1 is here 10.25. 10.25, y2 is here, 6.25, y3, I have it here, 4.25, y4, uh, it's 4.25, y5 is here, 6.25, and lastly, y6 is 10.25, this is now the mid ordinate, and this one should give me just my answer, which is 10.25, I'm adding uh, 6.25, which I'm adding 4.25. I'm also adding 
4.25 I'm adding again 6.25 I'm adding 10.25 so this gives me times 1 of course is not this what 1.5 so the area becomes 41.25 square square units point five square units or to one point five square units. So that is how you approach that problem. Thank you.